This is the 11th video in my indoor weather station tutorial series and in this video I'm going to go through how to hook up the SGP30 gas sensor. This measures two things, uh, something called eCO2, equivalent CO2 and volatile organic compounds. Volatile organic compounds are basically um, small organic particles in the air and this is used as a sort of proxy for smell. So you can basically um, find out if a room is uh, smelly or not. Um, the other value is equivalent CO2, and I'm not completely sure how that's calculated, but this isn't a proper um, CO2 sensor, and I think it takes the volatile organic compounds reading and tries to predict the level of CO2. Since later on I'm going to be using um, a proper CO2 sensor, I won't be reading the, the eCO2 level from here, but I'll show you how to do it in this video anyway. Now, if you've been following along, you'll notice a pattern here. So these are the sensors that I've already hooked up. They all had I squared C communication, so does this one, so the um, wiring will be very familiar. And if you haven't um, um, followed along, I guess you could skip back to um, video number eight. So there is a power line that we put into VIN. There is ground that we put into G and D. Then we have a clock wire that goes into SCL and a data wire that goes into SDA. Notice that this SCL and SDA, sometimes they, they have slightly different, um, different names, but you, you'll usually be able to find out which is which. So once again, there is a Python library online that we can use for this. So we copy the link and go to our Raspberry Pi. Make sure, of course, that you're in the directory that we've been working in all this time. And once again, we'll do sudo git clone and the address. Okay. And just like before, we'll have to go inside that folder and copy the actual library file. Um, one level up into the directory that we're currently working in. So this is that file and we will copy it um, just to the front layer so we don't need to specify the path and uh, just give it the same name. That was wrong, sorry, I need to do away with this, and now it should work. Okay, there it is. So now we can start writing the code, and we need to import time, and then from this library, we will import SGP30, um, and from SMBus, we will need to import SMBus, then we will create this um, and now we need a with statement so with SGP 30 SM bus as ship and once again by the way of course I took this from the example file um, that was given in the download um, so the air quality is going to be chip dot measure air quality and then we'll have the volatile organic compounds which is going to be air quality volatile organic compounds in parts per billion and the CO2 is measured in parts per million. Now all we do is print both the volatile organic compounds and the CO2 level and we do this every second. So I will save this in our data logging folder under just like we did before so underscore SGP30 in this case and let's see if this works. So Python SGP. There we go. So it's initializing here. 
And the thing about the sensor is that you need to give it a couple of seconds to warm it up and only then it responds. So it starts with 400 um, parts per million, which is sort of the standard outdoor um, CO2 levels. And this zero at the moment is volatile organic compounds. So I can try to put my finger on it. Yeah. And so it's, I guess it's telling me that my finger is a little bit smelly and that it is emitting CO2, which seems a bit, I don't know, seems a bit weird that the CO2 level would double uh, or more than double just by holding my finger there. So that, that's why I don't really trust this eCO2 level. I can also, <coughs> so that's my breath right there, less smelly than my finger. Um, yeah, but there you go. Maybe it was because my finger directly touched the, the sensor and that's why it sh showed me such a high value. Um, anyway, I hope you like this video. If you want to um, interrupt the, the, um, the loop here, you can do, use control C as usual. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.